Welcome to the Saturday morning top-up show. Glenn Pollard, he's getting ready to go out to a, a warm yeah, Rose Hill. Yeah, suit and tie. It's 43 degrees. I'll be loving every minute of it, but I'll still be happy to be out there. Yeah, I see uh, there's been a lot of scratchings, 32, but uh, they none none of the chances, really. They tend to be yeah, you know, they're horses that are doing um, a bit of travelling, I suppose. You know, half a dozen horses that raced last night. And- yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all the uh, deduction pages on the tab are all two and three cent and one cent, and that's it. Yeah, n- mm. nothing to worry about. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, obviously, uh, you know, the weather is as expected, and uh, the track will be as expected. I mean, they they seem to be able to keep a fair amount of moisture in this track, but um, I expect that they'll run fast times because it'll be baking away today, and um, I'm you know worried about the inside being an advantage, which I would prefer not to be, but. Um, Rose has been a bit like that the last couple of years. Uh, right, a lot of interest in this two-year-old race. Um, the, uh, the um, here we go. Um, is, can you see that, Glenn, or is that under? Yeah, 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 perfect. Um, Beautiful. The, well, the opening favourite sliders has, uh, has been quite, I can't actually see it because it's under me, but opening favourite sliders has... Um, been a drifter and um, is heading its way north of five dollars at the moment. Money, for, mm. uh, early money it was for Hunan, but uh, later money now for Centro Storico. Hide your heart. Princess Spice has halved its price. The Tash Burley horse, yeah. And Robert Deera, uh, sorry, Robert Deera hasn't firmed. It's uh, it's eleven, twelve, and thirteen that are um, that are uh, creating a bit of action in this race. So betting around the um, the opening favourite here, Glenn. Yeah, no, I think we mentioned that on the show yesterday, Mark, without trying to blow our trumpet. Um, I, I think I gave my numbers out yesterday, 5, 11, 12. So there it is. Um, sliders look weak yesterday. It's probably going to get to at least 650. Uh, I'm, I'm still interested in five. I'm going to forgive the fay, especially back to this big dry track. Well, it was Barrier just 12 now. Oh. tons and tons and tons of money in that million dollar race on debut. It was, uh, you know, just a, just a one little sneaky trial. Um, yeah, yeah. So obviously the stable have got a big, big opinion of it, and um, you know they've haven't tipped it out. They've found a race for it uh, three weeks later on a dry track, so um, with the blinkers on. So it's obviously a key runner. Um, good betting heat. Uh, race two is a bit ho hum. Obviously the main thrust of this race. Oh, it's firmed right up. Jesus, twenty seven thousand match and Indowads on Almania. That wasn't wow. the case. That wasn't the case twenty minutes ago. <clears throat> no, it was two sixty eight or something. That's been smashed. Like, Last night uh, it was three dollars ten. That was some. Uh, that was with a few scratchings. Yeah, a couple of scratchings come out. That made it two sixty eight this morning, and now it's off the map. Look at that! Wow, twenty seven thousand match. Wow, they've jumped out of trees there, man. They sure the have. Um, there, um, there was some fixed odds money for he's he runs away, which is right, which is certainly not showing on the fair. Relucent and Stockman, the only other bits of resistance to this favourite uh, Australian bloodstock horse, having his second run in Australia and does have the word enable next to his name. Two starts back, albeit beaten fifteen lengths, but um, I suppose the perception is that this is easy meat. Uh, this race, so. I, I say it came out of a very fast run 2000 first up that's not my style of uh, lead up so it'll just have to win without me um race three the highway which has lost a number of runners but uh, all the emphasis is on the uh the two um favorites and uh art cadeau is uh three dollars fixed um so there'll be a good betting duel in this race between the uh, the horse that we know and the horse that we don't. Uh, and it appears to be kiss your ass bar, Glenn. Yeah, and it, it looked that way doing the form too, Mark. So I'm um, not surprised. I'm just still five from two. Gord's two from five. Um, not much to say. I, I might be flat out having a bet there at these prices too. Yeah, well, look, I mean, you know, Art Cadeau had his race to win the other day. I realised that uh, he's got some good-looking Rose Hill fi- Highway form, but... I'm not sure if there's any any progression there. And uh, another one is all Wagga. Um, neither of them have a racing style that owns the race, but um, maybe T. Berry will have other ideas. It's a, it's a race where uh, Timmy Clark looks the leader down there in gate one on Fat Gecko up in distance. And we get T. Stockwell <coughs> replacing B. Ryan on Cracker Jack Kenny, who two starts ago was in an 1,800-metre highway and just keeps coming back in distance. Oh. 
uh, race four and um, promotions is our favourite. The money is from Americana Magic with the gun on from the soft below draw. Um, no recent city runs, but uh, Posse's up here in a race where there's not much doing. Gord Keen on Daleb. Uh, he's a hot shot look set to lead today. And is that, that looks like a lot of resistance on promotions there, Glenn. Four and a half thousand matched and um, sitting there mid fours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that does look a lot of resistance. Um, <clears throat> just another race to me, Mark. I, I wasn't keen on Daleb. And, you know, he's a hot shot. The, the Baker Stable's just going awful. I, you know, I'm still probably interested in number one. Yeah, well, it seems big odds number one, doesn't it? And, um, you know, look, Promotions has got the last start, Rose Hill, Saturday run on a whip, <coughs> and this might be his last chance on the dry. Um, but, uh, yeah, just a classic, uh, where, what do we do here sort of race. Um, race five, the, uh, the 1100, it's all plaquette. Have a look at this, Glenn. 220 wanted. What? Uh, 12,000 matched. It's just... Um, What's this, the H. Bowman show? Is it Almania into Plaquette? Wow, that 220 there. Gone like, now. Yeah, yep. gone now. Too late. Wow. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to hang up on the show then. <laughs> you were just going, <laughs> get, taking a it. hold of that. 12,500 matched. I, well, why is this? Uh, it's funny. Have they lined up on the um, uh, on 2KY on this horse, have they? Is it? Uh, is it one of those come up odds on on the tote sort of story, uh, you know, the old days where, uh, you know, everyone would tip the same horse. Um, look, I can understand that um, Plaquette has um, has plenty of fans out there in um, everyday land because it's uh, blue colours, Bowman, pox on the rest. But, um, wow. Um, Lady Bamp, an interesting resumer here. Um, Holding a price there. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, we'll see. There's lots of things giving way there, isn't there? I mean, Val Valdestana, who you know was a, a, a bit of a sprue course at one stage, has lost cast. And uh, where else do you go? I mean, Miss Fox was had the pox on it at the midweeks last time we saw her. She's had a break since then, she's got a bit of running style, but pretty limited, seemingly pretty limited. And um, you know, three oud has got a bit of map issues. It's a funny race, isn't it? Race five. Can move on uh, to the um, that, well, that is race five. Race six is uh, the two thousand meter, one of the features anyway, and uh, not a lot to, to report here. Um, everyone a bit confused. A couple of I'm warming to your tip, Mike. Number nine, <laughs> Jay Collard. He's, he's the man for the job, isn't he? Um, it looks a very even open race there. Um, mm. Which um, I think. Black on gold, Gord's tipping it like ten or eleven dollars. Just said it's an easy bet. I, th I think that's a fair comment. Graceful yeah. glamour. If it gets out to eight or nine dollars, I could, I could have a good bet on it and trade out a little bit in the run because I do have it as a designated leader. I do expect yeah. Wolf to tuck in. Okay. It uh, look it, it looks quite inscrutable that race based on what we're looking. It's very at hard there. to put a gun to head and you know pull the trigger if you work out what horse can't win. I mean, it's well, a, it's really a field job. There, I don't think there is a horse that can't win. Um, you know, even Morton's Fork, who doesn't like winning, um, he um, he wouldn't be a complete shock. Um, the festival, actually, you know, I had to I started putting my pen through a lot of runners there as I got through the scratchings, and I realised that there's not not a scratching. Is that because it's a Group Three race or lead up to the Villiers or what? what the hell? Bit of luck, I think. Bit of luck. Um, anyway. Uh, it's pretty much as you were. You've got through the cracks, outrageous faced us, um, rainy air. They're your uh, nominated uh, contenders. Um, but yet again, it's uh, this is a bit of an old fashioned race, isn't it, Glenn? It, it looks it's uh, a, it's a, the Villiers. Yeah, well, you, we like hopefully we get something a little bit well, longer in the Villiers, a bit fresher from Melbourne, so. might. <laughs> Or Brisbane. Remember, they used to come down to, from Brisbane and actually be quite competitive in the Villiers. Crack me up on those sorts of horses. He cracked me up. Warren from Warren found it. Uh, yeah. So, um, faced us a good ride there for Gun. Obviously, T. Berry's uh, wave waving his magic on Outrageous and I'm with Rainy Air. Uh, Robbie Dolan replacing J. Mack, obviously, because of the situation there on the crack through the cracks. Uh, yeah. A good, interesting game on interesting for the race. race. 
the penultimate, and this is the Starlight, and D. Dwyer is offering money back for second in bonus bets up to $200 uh, on this race. So the code is Starlight, I think. So he says, odds, odds, there's an odds boost code, sorry, Starlight, and there's money back for second up to $200 in the Starlight stakes in bonus bets. All right, so that's Dave. Um, as far as the action is concerned, it's... Um, well, I can, I can report that Jay Ford's gone on to in and up because Brock Ryan's not riding and Jay Parr's not riding as well. Um, Varda looks a bit easy there. Uh, activity there for Snits. This looks pretty firm. Mm. And uh, yeah, tip number one is like pretty solid there too. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit tighter than it was uh, early doors. I think it's a good race. I, I kind of I'm with Gord there a bit. I just, I like four and I like one, and struggling to find the other runner. Yeah, well, obviously, it depends a lot on how you perceive Varda, who uh, was the look darling. At number, look darling at number four, the Snitch. <laughs> 2002 to one. I tell you what, this is like a reality show, isn't it? Quick, this? grab it. <laughs> what happened then? Wow. Wow. Did you see that just pop up $2,203? Yeah. It's got to be longer than $3. Wow, this, this is the beautiful um, thing about Betfair too. You can you can lay horses you like because you just you're betting on price. But we all yeah, know I do so it all just, the time, and then I burn myself doing it, and I give myself that little talk to, and then I can't wait to do it again. Fourteen hundred just matched there on on Snits as we spoke. Wow. Okay. Um, the night like these people are betting as they watch the show, even though it's not live. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Another night cap, mate. Little less activity here, but great news. Uh, holding a position, although uh, a little bit softer than she was in early markets. The a um, little bit of interest for four men with most of the corporates, but again, probably going off the fact that we nominated a pretty strong, uh, especially me and, and Gord also. On yeah, yesterday's previous. Yeah. And bet you're flying means. to be ridden closer here, as you'd imagine. It's Chris. It's low draw. It's um, anyone we'll remember the last Chris Pink colours to win? I tell you what. Uh, didn't uh, good old Cat Doro give himself up for all time? Is he straight to Cairns? On, what um... about him? What a milk drinker he is. I think the last pink colours for Wallers was at 200s, Glyn Schofield at Warwick Farm eight, two years ago. <laughs> what was it called? Um, yeah, the name That's escapes me at the moment. I know exactly who you're talking about. All right. Uh, that's a bit a uh, bit of a look at Rose Hill today. Um we, uh, you know, we're going to brave the heat and get it, get through this and uh, make some money, as Gord would say. Um, any of you who haven't tried a subscription to the Racing Rant, well, you get access to the chat room, which um, every world famous tipster is trying to show off their wares. There, there is a lots of uh, lots of clever um, interaction in the chat room, and the subscription gets you access to that, gets you a ton of content every week, plus Mountain Yard Mail, plus my sets for uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Uh, next week, I think, Glenn, is it next week that you're giving three sets of Mountain Yard Mail because... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, going to Kensington next Friday. Still haven't got a ticket. Can you believe it's sold out? <laughs> it's sold out. Apparently, it's sold out for parties, but they're expecting everyone to turn up that's got a ticket at, like, uh, just after five. Oh, okay. Right. All right. Well, that's the activity next week. We hope you come on board. Uh, meanwhile, um, we will... Um, We'll be uh, ploughing through this and uh, getting through all of it on the rant on Monday, which uh, uh, we'll look forward to. Um, um, more discussion about uh, the evil TAB, I guess. Um, we're, we're the one place where you will be able to talk freely about stuff which you can't yeah. anywhere else. So You can't. <laughs> Generally, if anyone gets in trouble, it's just me and Lamborn anyways. We'll read it out for you and then they'll, they'll, t they'll take us away in shackles again. Come on, boys, answer these questions. Oh, some, uh, All right, get start, the I'll become out. religious soon. Meanwhile, right on, Mark, we're doing our best. Us. See ya.